This is a two and a half pound weight. Let's see what the scale reads. So 41.2 divided by 16 equals 2.575. So that's it's pretty accurate. Let's see what this 16.9 ounce Mountain Dew weighs. Equals 1.225. So almost one and a quarter pounds. Let's see what this bottle of water weighs. 1.13125 I have this one bottle of Powerade it's a 28 ounce its total weight is 31.4 ounces and that is 1.9625 pounds so I've got 40 bottles of water 35 bottles of Mountain Dew. Um, I drank one of them, that's why I only have 35. So I added in the bottle of Powerade, and the total weight of this is just over 90 pounds, which exceeds the weight limit of the trailer. The trailer weight limit advertised by Burley at this time is 70 pounds let's see what the shock looks like if I lift up so it compresses a little bit now I'm going to test ride it well I've made it out here uh, with the load on the bike path. Um, it's kind of hard to ride uh, with all this weight. It, it makes the bike sway back and forth, uh, you know, side to side. Um, so you have to get used to that if you try this. Um, of course, you're not really supposed to try this. Now the other thing to consider is the, the flexing of the bike frame. I could feel uh, the rear end of this bike frame flexing, so I, I don't know if the 70 pound weight limit is really because of the design of the trailer, or they're afraid that you might break your bike frame.
pretty far out here now into the middle of nowhere almost um, as I was trying to accelerate at higher speed I almost felt like the front wheel was gonna get pulled out from under me as the uh, the side to side motion of this weight was trying to make me crash but the load is uh, still intact fizz still good 